Hey everyone. Hi Vijay. Good morning. Hi Adam. Hello. Hey, Hi. how are you? <laughs> good morning. Good morning. I think uh, Matt uh, Matt said he was running late a bit, so um, again he'll join in when he can. I think uh, we can wait another minute and get started, at least on the things that we have on our agenda. And then uh, <clears throat> if, if uh, Adam, you have any questions or anything, we can, you know, definitely help. Vijay and I can help. And Sure, thank you. And um, again, have you joined our meetings before? No, I haven't. Um, I've, I've often had clashes. Um, okay, okay, no worries. But, okay, welcome, uh, welcome. Very good. Thank to you have very you. much. <laughs> um, again, let me. So let me let me just quickly uh, walk through and also share the doc doc with you. Typically, what we do is we actually have different topics we cover. You know, invite guest speakers and experts in observability. Um, as well as um, kind of um, get, you know, answer Q&A questions and answers for um, any kind of deployments you may be doing or anything else. Um, so uh, it's, it's really a forum for discussion. Uh, and, you know, if you're working on observability, great place to be. Great. Thank you very much. Let me just share our screen, share my screen. And uh, again, you know, typically we use this as a kind of our uh, topics to discuss. Um, Vijay, I added your name here. Hi, Mai. Thank you for joining in. Okay, I think um, let's get started um, again. And, and you know, again, this is an open forum. So we you typically stick around, you know, for discussions and any kind of questions you may have. So um, I have a few items on our agenda. And just, just a reminder, because this is a CNCF uh, meeting. So hence we do, you know, kind of follow the... Um, the code of conduct for all of our meetings. These are publicly recorded meetings. So please, uh, you know, again, uh, remember that any confidentiality requirements you may have for your organizations or any, you know, areas you work in, again, please uh, be careful about not sharing anything. Uh, but on the other hand, we all work in open source and we do discuss technologies and implementations and, you know, architectures all the time. So, uh, you know, again, please feel free to kind of be aware of that. Um, that said, again, um, I wanted to kind of ha just uh, call out a few things that we I had on our uh, agenda just for discussion. One is, again, a, a request uh, from some of the project contributors, you know, who are working in the observability space who would like to actually have an APAC time uh also for the tag uh to for them to be able to join in because you know this time is uh works for the us um as well as for europe uh and typically you know it's easy for folks to join in uh in the you know europe with a europe friendly time but uh we have a lot of contributors on several projects you know in observability who are actually contributing from asia and, uh, you know, they have been reaching out to kind of figure out if there is a way that they can also participate um, in, you know, in these meetings and discussions uh, from APAC. So that's an area that, you know, again, I'd like to kind of introduce as something that's worth, worth you know, having maybe Vijay, you know, you've been uh, on some of these discussions uh, and calls. 
typically the meetings we hold for APAC are at 4 p.m. Pacific time. So that's not too late for the East Coast. But on the other hand, it's also, you know, uh, early morning in Asia. And it, it uh, provides the opportunity for folks to participate both from Australia, ANZ, as well as um, you know, China and Southeast Asia. Um, so if, again, I just wanted to get some feedback to see, you know, if folks, what did, what did folks think? Does this work for folks to be able to do like once a month or maybe, um, every, every third, you know, third meeting? Any thoughts? Four is probably too early for India. Four is probably yes. That is a good point. Um, yeah, and it would work if we actually did something like seven, seven p.m. or eight p.m. because I think that eight p.m. is probably the latest we can go for Pacific time. At least on the query language standardization, we initially did like nine p.m. PST. Did that work? Uh, there was no attendance, so we just dropped it on the floor. Okay, because I mean, this yeah, but request... that, that's a working group. It, yes, it, it, yes, yes. I mean, this is specifically coming in from you know uh, China as well as uh, 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 you know just CJK uh, with Japan, Korea, you know China time. So I think that five p.m. could work there. Um, because that's, I think, um, 8, 8, 8 a.m. Uh, China time. But uh, we can do a poll and see if, you know, what range works, because I think maybe 6 p.m. to 9 p.m. might be an ideal time. We can see if there's any interest from, you know, India or uh, the Indian subcontinent, but you know, otherwise we'll stick with the China time, which is friendly to ANZ. But uh, I, again, perhaps doing a poll uh, would be useful. Useful on the tag Slack channel. So there was no uh, interest from or, or no participation really uh, had tried this, right? Okay. But uh, that's a good data point, uh, Vijay. Thank you for sharing. The um, other topic that I wanted to kind of bring up and discuss and, and again, you know, get your get your thoughts on um, is uh, white paper topics. So typically, you know, the tag has done white papers in the past on uh, observability, uh, you know, areas of specialization as well as trends, you know, as to where observability is moving. And as many of you know, you know, there is a lot of um, intersect with the AI uh, working group that we uh, have sponsored, uh, which has actually published a white paper, you know, at KubeCon uh, earlier this year. But um, it was not really very focused on or specific to observability, right? And and I was wondering if there were topics that, as you are all working in the industry, uh, if there are topics that you know are uh, useful that we could actually leverage and uh, you know actually work on. Any thoughts on that? And we can easily start an issue and thread to discuss this, you know, to get suggestions. But I was just wondering, you know, like, for example, do you think observ AI, uh, you know, observability? Um, and I think, Vijay, we got a lot of um, uh, good conversation at uh, the EU, KubeCon EU. But um, I think that that could easily also be a bit more formalized. Uh, AI ops observability and you know, uh, and uh, you know, kind of next gen platforms. What do you think? Is this something that might be a possible area? Yeah, I think uh, uh, I posted on the Zoom chat. Like maybe um, 
uh, automated RCA. Uh, I think like a lot of people are trying to um, yes solve that and like uh, uh, from a theoretical standpoint, uh, how would we go about doing it? What are the exactly. things? That, uh, what what are the things that might need to happen on the open telemetry or Prometheus or Jaeger yeah. and um to facilitate such a thing i think a general purpose uh, methodology might might be useful i think a lot of people are trying to solve it in isolation and uh, it would prompt uh, a move forward in uh, in this space uh, yes uh, agreed uh, in existing frameworks right open source frameworks uh, such as open hotel uh, or prometheus or others right um i mean again i think in this space especially um um profiling as well as tracing um are being used somewhat but i think there's also room for work to be done there to use uh, you know signals more efficiently right i mean metrics is being used for example a fair bit but um you know using other data signals uh, effectively or um, you know AI applications so, I think Mike can you uh, mute yourself uh, some background noise um, okay. are there other topics again you know I'll, I will start a thread uh, we can definitely Start like, uh, when sound direction, they're not supposed to more feedback. So state, state of observability is probably one. Yeah, and, and yes, is, uh, agreed. How to translate their new transactional data into what um, you Mike? Know, yeah, that. You can probably mute him if you're the host. I, I think, uh, let's see if I can. Um, yeah. I don't seem to be able to. I haven't really included it. Could you? Could you? Okay, cool. No, I'm, I'm, Thank you. I'm not. A... All right, all right. No worries. No, my did already herself. So that's cool. Um, but this is this is state of observability. You know, I think would be actually also a good topic. And you know, again, these. Why papers don't need to be very long. They really need to be more, you know, talking about, um, I think, you know, specific areas of focus, right? Like as as we kind of transform uh, observability also to leverage, you know, AIML and at the same time also support uh, more AIML applications what does that look like, right? And what are some of the considerations that need to be there? But there are other areas of interest also. For example, you know, profiling has come a long way. Um, maybe, you know, performance performance uh, engineering or performance observability is another area which has kind of special, specialized, right, with profiling. Um, that's another possible topic. But... Um, Anyway, I mean, I think this is something that we need to think about and I would like to kind of bring it up because these are areas which, you know, where uh, we really can actually look at uh, some innovative ways of, you know, implementing observability at scale. And uh, goes without saying, one of the key pillars, you know, in the new generation of applications is observability uh, because you cannot actually operate AI applications, for example, without understanding their behavior and understanding their and understanding system behavior is a core tenet of observability. So um, again, this dovetails into really a lot of, you know, very interesting areas of work that is happening. And I think highlighting that would be super cool. The other aspect, uh, Vijay, that I had for you was that, do you think, you know, again, uh, as we have had the Q query language, um, you know, a work group, uh, would that be useful to kind of um, highlight that could query languages be handled by, uh, with a natural language interface, right? And, and that goes back to the discussions that we have had uh, that could we actually use LLMs 
uh, you know, to actually do some of the heavy lifting for unification of query languages, where there is more of a natural language interface for different types of data without, you know, without, um, uh, uh, with, with an LLM, if you will, or a, you know, family of LLMs. Sure, we can have that conversation. Uh, I think uh, in the current state, it it may not be practical, but it's definitely worth having the conversation. Eventually, when LLMs are cheaper, it, it might be the case that we could just rely on that. Yes, and as an alternative, right? I mean, even if it's not, you know, the mainstream right now, it's worth having the discussion that where, you know, how would this work, right? I mean, and what would be some of the practical considerations um, for making this a reality? Sure. I mean, of course, <laughs> reasonable computer is one of them. But, you know, <laughs> that said, um, you know, kind of having some of the uh, other considerations, I think, would be pretty useful. What are some of the uh, considerations uh, for making? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, both technical considerations as well as business considerations, right? Uh, yeah, that's right. Because I think I think this actually would be uh, very interesting to kind of discuss and you know maybe have a prototype that we could demo at KubeCon. Um, in other areas, uh, any other topics that folks can think of right now? Um, otherwise, we can move on. Okay, cool. Uh, let's move on. Again, I think I just wanted to remind everyone that the KubeCon um, conference, which is held um, in different parts of the world, but primarily, you know, the North America uh, conference is coming up in November. And uh, again, we all heavily participate in this conference. So the next one is in Salt Lake City. And the CF, CFP, which is the submitting your talk proposals, is open till June 9th. So uh, if there are any areas that you're interested in, in talking about or presenting, again, you know, happy to help review your proposals in one of the follow-up meetings. Or, you know, if you share it on the tag channel, we can definitely help. Just ping us, you know, Vijay or I can take a look and help. Um, and if you're interested, you know, in, in specific topics in general, you know, please, please, uh, please don't be shy, you know, just kind of submit because that's how you kind of get more involved. Uh, we typically also do a tag observability talk. So um, Vijay, I mean, I can share where I'll start a talk proposal for, you know, uh, so, something we could consider from tag tag observability and uh, we can figure out you know what are some of the key areas that we can we can uh, highlight there so uh, i'll just take an action item there uh, visa will uh, we'll start a doc and share uh, tag leads okay um all right, and the only other thing I had today on my list, at least, is that we have a very cool speaker uh, joining in next time in our June 4th meeting um, for the tag, um, you know, which is Frederick. Uh, and he is from Polar Signals. He's one of the founders, and he will be speaking on profiling. So if you are interested, you know, again, in profiling and learning more about how to use profiling for observability, specifically, you know, different use cases, you know, where, where there is a lot of scale, uh, scale required and cardinality for handling profiles, as well as specific use cases. Again, Fred will be diving into those areas. So please, please join in and, you know, we'll also, 
get an abstract and kind of an specific topics he is going to be covering. Uh, I will be sharing that on the tag channel. Um, and and you know again, if you have specific requests that you would like him to cover, uh, again, please do share with me or just you know kind of jot it down here because we can easily ask him to cover and focus in on those topics too. So uh, and. Again, you know, we invite folks all the time. So if you have any other recommendations, please don't hesitate to ping me. <laughs> and I think that's all I had. Uh, Adam, were there any topics on your end that you wanted to kind of call out or bring, uh, you know, or talk a bit about what kind of observability areas you're looking at? No, no nothing particular. Uh, you'll let me see, see me attend these more regularly okay, okay. initially for awareness rather than anything else um, are you are you working on cloud uh, uh, infrastructure or cloud observability um, again are you involved in the space much or are you just getting involved in it now uh, yeah no it's a space I'm involved in already uh, both okay, cloud observability okay. awesome. and uh, awesome. yeah, infrastructure okay okay very cool and and again you know uh Please don't hesitate, you know, if there are other folks that are interested from your teams, you know, please invite them. This is an open forum for discussion. So, you know, we all try to kind of gather up and discuss specific areas. Um, and Vijay, again, just uh, needs not, uh, doesn't need a lot of introduction, but he's actually been leading the standardization of query language, uh, languages for observability. Um, work group that we have under the tag. And um, again, you know, if you're curious and interested in that space where we are, you know, looking at as end users, you know, how can we actually uh, leverage a single language for, across different data signals and different data sources? Uh, there's a good amount of work that has been done in that space by Vijay's and other folks on the work group. Um, so if you're interested, you know, please join in on that uh, work group also. And the the issues are all on um, GitHub. So you can easily browse through many, you know, all the active uh, discussions that are ongoing and the documents, you know, that are attached to it uh, on these issues on GitHub. All right. Okay. I think uh, we are at nine about 26 27 minutes past any other call outs vijay on your part uh, i have yeah. a question um, alalita the sure. open llm sandbox like uh, is that happening or uh... Uh, the open llm yes so uh, one of the things that has happened here at open llm is that we had recommended from the tag that they actually uh, combine their efforts with the um, uh, open telemetry project. And as a result of which, you know, their uh, teams have actually started a, uh, you know, the, 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 um, the team has started a um, SIG on the open telemetry uh, project, which um, is, specifically about defining LLM semantic conventions. Um, and that's kind of the first first step uh, in you know establishing standardized conventions uh, for being able to define what you know uh, LLM observability looks like. So that's kind of where uh, the TOC and the tag recommended. Uh, as next steps and the sandbox uh, effort, I think right now is on hold from what I understand. Is that, you know, was that specifically, were you looking at something specifically in that? No, uh, no, yeah, I was, yeah, I was curious to, yeah, curious to know. So uh, LLM observability is something that uh, we are starting to explore. And uh, yes, there are many, open source options that are available, but like we typically lean, lean towards ones that are available on CNCF. So yes. Uh, yes. Yeah. And, and I think my, a lot of the discussion around some of these solutions is actually happening in that work group. 
you know, again, the uh, it's typically on Wednesdays. Uh, in uh, and they alternate. Uh, they have I think an eight to nine a.m. Pacific time. Uh, and uh, I think it's a four to five APAC time. You know, for uh alternate alternatingly. So if you um, you know, if you are interested, you know, please join in for one of those. And it is on the uh, CNCF calendar. Okay, but uh, a lot of the folks you know who are interested in that space are joining in into that into that work group. Okay. So um, again, uh, listed on the CNCF uh, hotel calendar. Thank you, Lolita. Yeah, yeah, sure, sure. I mean, I I participate in that, so I know about it. <laughs> you know. Uh, so uh, no worries. Happy to help. And and you're right that there is a lot of different solutions. But I think you know the problem that we are seeing in this space is that there is not enough standardization, and most of the solutions are focused on data compliance. They're not necessarily focused on observability. So um, it's it's an evolving space. In other words, all right. I think, hey. um, yeah. Sorry, go ahead. Okay. Ah, uh, no, no. Uh, I'm good. Thank you. Okay. Um. All right. I think we're at nine thirty. And uh, Adam, unless you have other questions or you know comments, you know where to find us. Uh, we will regroup again on June fourth, which is typically you know we have four two meetings a month. And again, try to use these meetings for, you know, good, useful discussions. But um, again, come with your questions and invite your friends. And I will stop sharing. Okay. Um, automated RCS. Yeah. So I, I got your comments, uh, Vijay. All right. I think I'll give you, you so your much. time back. Thank you, everyone. Uh, have a wonderful have day. Have a good day. Yeah. Thank you very Vijay. much. Thank you. Thanks, Adam. Bye. Bye.